Hello Tankers! In today's episode, we'll be answering your top questions about the Masters of Parkour contest. We'll also be sharing with you some development news and announcing a cool event for this weekend. The battle button is in the game. Now you have the choice of either picking a battle manually or leaving the choice to this new system. Some of you are asking, why should I use this mechanism if it might send me to a battle that has almost ended? This will not happen. Uh, the battle button will send you to a battle with at least 10 minutes left on the timer. As we already said in the last episode, we'll be watching this mechanism closely and looking for ways that it can be improved. Some more development news from our programmers and game designers. With this latest update, our game is now capable of remembering more than one nickname, which is great if you have multiple accounts. How does it work? When logging into the game, you will see a list of all your accounts where you choose Remember Me. All you need to do is choose the nickname that you'd like to play with without entering the password. If you need to add a new nickname to the list, just enter the login details and choose Remember Me. You can also remove nicknames that you don't need anymore. Easy! The Masters of Parkour contest is in full swing. In fact, the first entries and the first questions are starting to come in. Let's answer the top ones. If I buy the Master of Parkour paint, will it stay in my garage forever? It depends. On the 6th of December, we'll be announcing the winners of the first phase of the contest. We'll be declared the 10 finalists as well as any other winners in additional nominations if there are any. After that, the paint will only stay in the garages of the winners. Can four of us do the tricks while the fifth person acts as a cameraman without being part of the team? Yes, of course. This is exactly what we specified in the contest rules. What if the winner already has the spider module? If the winner already has the spider module, we will fully upgrade it to 50% resistance. But what if this module is already fully upgraded? In this case, we'll compensate the price of the module's M3 modification, which is 50,000 crystals. We're gonna shoot the video with spectator mode. Can we hide the nicknames and show them at the end of the video instead? We added the rule about nickname visibility to prevent the stealing of video fragments, so nicknames must be visible. However, if you want to emphasize the showiness of one of your tricks and hide nicknames, we recommend you to do it this way. Is it possible to have one-person or two-person teams? It isn't forbidden, but you need to understand that in the final some tricks can be very hard or impossible to do with a small team. So does this mean you should stay out of the contest? Of course not! We'll check all entries and if there are more than 10 good videos, we'll add nominations and prizes. Why are you allowing teams to participate with spectator mode? It's not fair! Those who have spectator mode have an advantage. First of all, it is perfectly possible to make awesome videos without spectator and boring ones with spectator. The last contest proves this. Is it possible to make it to the final without spectator? Yes, of course! The most important thing to remember is that the authors of all the entries that we feel are worthy will get prizes. By the way, about shooting videos, we recommend that you watch the pros advice section from episode 87 of the vlog. The Russian YouTuber Sencha explains how to make good videos without spectator mode. The link to the video is in this vlog's description. Good luck! Video of the week! Last time we asked you to shoot some backflips and somersaults. We got a lot of videos. Let's watch only the best one. The theme for next week is open. Let's see whether you can surprise us. But whatever you do, use the standard green paint. We're about to give you a great reason for spending your weekend in Tanky. This Saturday and Sunday, battle funds will be increased by 50%. For premium tankers, the bonus is even bigger – 150%. Make sure you don't miss it. That's it for now, guys. Look out for the next episode and have fun with increased battle funds and masters of parkour. See ya!
Last week we made a bit of a mistake. In the question was said that there were 54 mines. In reality, there were 55 of them. The tank triggered 4 mines, so 51 mines remain. Because of our mistake, we're also accepting 50 mines as an answer. Here are our winners, who were randomly chosen from the list of tankers who answered correctly. And now the next question.